Anvil Carrick. So this is one of the most popular, if not the most popular ship in the entire game. It's either the Carrick, uh, the Anvil Carrick, or the uh, Crusader Mercury Star Runner. Um, so we'll just say they're tied for now. Um, and we'll say this is the most popular in addition to that one. But yes, this ship is very popular because it's an exploration ship and it's considered to be one of the best, if not the best, exploration ship in the game. Um, so let's show you the outside. Um, so I have what's called a best in show skin for this. Um, I don't actually remember um, getting that, um, but I think when I bought the Carrick, I bought it with real money. Um, it came with this skin that year. Um, so this is a really cool, I really like this skin. Um, I, you know, I have a 600 eye and it comes in white and I actually don't like that. Um, that ship that is originally built in white, I don't like it as much as this one. This one is really cool. The white and the gray really works well together. Um, you can see how tiny I am in there. Just uh, kind of standing at the, uh, the uh, captain's area there. Um, it's a really cool looking ship. Um, it has, you know, guns everywhere. It's supposed to have guns. See, it's got the one on the belly facing towards the rear. It's got the two on the sides. Um, and then, um, actually, I don't think it has any front guns. So I think that's the only one missing. I think there is a turret up top, but I'm not 100% sure. I thought there was a turret up top. Oh, I guess not. Um, I thought there was, though. Um, so... Uh, it has a little mini hanger, of course, um, for a little uh, snub ship to come out and do a few things. Um, it's pretty cool. It also has, I think, it comes with a rover um, that's stored in the back area. Um, so, yeah, that's the outside of the Carrick. It's very cool looking. So, um, as you can see... Um, you know, you, you, there's no seat to exit. This is where the captain just stands at, which I think is a really cool feature. So um, there is another place where you can pilot it and sit down. So of course it wouldn't make the pilot stand up the entire time. This is like um, one of the cool things about Star Citizen is like, if you want this really cool view, you can just stand up here and you can fight and you just have this perfect view of everything. Um, and I, I really think that's really cool. Um, but there's also other pilot seats down there. Let's see if you can see them from this angle. You can't really see them from this angle. Um, but this is like the captain's area, right? Um, and then you have your like co-pilot seats and stuff. So it is an exploration ship. So this will eventually be like the entire star map. And you can like plot points and say, oh, well, what if we go here? And then somebody else will be like, well, what if we go there? And it's kind of a way to for you all to be looking at the same map when you're trying to figure out where you want to go. Um, and then maybe they'll have like little cursors and stuff that you can do. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really cool ship. Let's get into one of these seats because um, I actually don't know what they do. So I don't actually own a Carrick anymore. Oh, this is a gunner seat. Let's see. I did not know this was a gunner seat. So um, they must be remote turrets. Um, so you can control them from here. Um, let's see, how do I, is there a way to get into the turret? I don't think so. I don't see, um, uh, I don't see a way to actually physically get into the turret. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's no way to actually get into the turret, but still pretty cool. Um, game's still in alpha so you're not going to see everything and, and what i mean when i say alpha because i know i've probably said that a bunch of times if you watched all my videos alpha just means the game isn't com feature complete yet that means um they're still adding features the game is a work in progress but they just let you play it while um it's progressing they let you play the game while uh, they're progressing through building it, um, which I think is a really cool way to develop video games because then you get to see what people like and what they don't like. You can change it. Um, and then what you put out is something that you know the fans will like because um, you know they told you while you were making it that they liked it. Um, anyway, but it does mean the game's unfinished. So you, you do see things that you don't typically see in games. It looks really buggy and messed up, but really it's not that it's not a messed up game it's just not complete yet um so 
Um, before we take that elevator, let's explore this whole area so that when we take the elevator, we can just come back up here. Um, so you saw the escape pods there. Um, uh, again, the Carrick is one of the best ships in the game, like hands down. Um, I think everybody who talks about the Carrick will tell you that the Carrick is one of the best ships in the game. Um, I don't own a Carrick. I actually, you know, you could say I upgraded. Um, I know Carrick owners would be upset if I said I upgraded from this to an Odyssey. Um, it's more like a side upgrade. Like it's, it's like a, it's like same ship, but like a lot of Carrick owners think the Carrick is better. A lot of uh, people who up, who side loaded or side upgraded think the uh, Odyssey is better. I think it's an upgrade, um, but not in a way of saying like, the Odyssey is better so much as it um, I think it will have more things that I want to do in the game in it um, I think the Odyssey will end up being more of like a survey type Explorer you know where you actually go down to the planet and you can stay out for a long time after going through a jump point um, whereas I think the Carrick will be more like you plot the point you go through the jump point but you can't stay because you're gonna have to come back refuel rearm resupply all that stuff um, but yeah, let's walk through it a little bit. Um, so this is, oh, so this, another, uh, cool thing about Carrick's is they have drones, right? So there'll be little drones in here that can repair your ship, um, and repair other ships, which I think is really freaking cool. That's one of the, th the things about the Carrick that's really unique is that they just have all these drones in here. Um, and they have different types of drones too. Um, and I think you're gonna be able to swap out which types of drones there are. Um, so this looks like it's just like a drone repair station. Um, and that's really cool. Um, I haven't walked around the Carrick either. Like I've, I've owned it, I owned it, and then I never walked through it. Um, I, literally, I literally upgraded it before I actually walked through it, um, which is crazy, I know, but like, it just is what it is. I, I know what I like, I know what I want. Um, and you know, it's not to say I won't have a Carrick in the future. Um, I don't think I will because I have an Odyssey, but maybe I'll look at the Odyssey when it comes out and I'll be like, hey, you know, maybe I do like the Carrick a little better. Um, but I just think um, I'm more industrial and I think the Carrick is more for people who like, I want this to be my main ship and I want to only explore, you know, or only sell jump point data. Um, I really intend to be an industry guy. Like I, I like I said um, in my previous video, I like to um, make money. Uh, we don't do ladders. Um, that's a, that's a that's a thing for me. If you didn't notice, um, we do not do ladders. We don't even like to look at ladders really, um, unless our um, our elevators don't work. Um, but even still, we might just stay where the hell we're at. So. Um, yeah, so this is your uh, your vehicle bay, uh, ship bay, I should say. So your, your ship bay, this is where you'll you know plot your little vehicle, and then you'll open this up here. Um, I think there's a way to open it up um, manually. Nope, I don't see a way to open it manually. Um, so yeah, you'll have to open it um, open it once you're either in the vehicle. Um, or you'll have to open it before um, you'll have to have somebody else open it for you so this is not a ship that you should be trying to pilot by yourself you might be able to get away with it um, but you should at least have one other person with you so if you get in this ship there should be somebody still piloting so when you go and you have your little ship in here and you're trying to get out of the hangar somebody should be able to open it for you all right so just staying on this level, um, this is a turret. Um, if you know me, we don't normally get in turrets, so we'll just kind of look around it a little bit. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a turret. You've been seen one turret, seen them all, right? Um, if you want to know what turret gameplay is like, I'm sure there's plenty of videos you can find where people are talking about turrets and stuff. But turrets are, you know, you just sit in it and you move around and it shoots stuff. Um, it's pretty simple. Don't need me to go through that for you. Um, what you're really here to see is the rest of the ship and that's what I intend to show you. So 
these are the huge cool looking engines so all these little pads these control unit things these are going to be for the engineering gameplay that's going to come in the engineering gameplay will basically be you just going around maintaining the ship and making sure uh, that's a ladder we don't do ladders so you just go around maintaining the ship um, and there'll be little parts and stuff so like if I open this up, I don't know if it'll actually be in there, but see like this huge thing is our quantum jump drive. It, well, it tells you right there. Um, and then there'll be little things that you have to do to like maintain it. Um, you know, um, and little checks you can do before you leave so that there's less maintenance required while you're out. Um, little sub components, parts you'll have to, that'll break and you'll have to replace, um, you know, things like that. But I hope, and I, I do believe that CIG, the people, Cloud Imperium Games, who make the game, uh, we call them CIG for short. Um, so I do hope that they um, focus on, you know, taking that to realism, but then bringing it back to um, what's fun. Um, and that's, that's kind of, oh, oh, we glitched. Oh, we glitched. That's all right. We glitched. We didn't take, we didn't take a ladder. We glitched before ladders. That should be, I'm gonna, that's gonna be a t-shirt. If somebody doesn't steal it, um, that's gonna be a t-shirt. We glitch before ladders. We're gonna call our elevator down here though. All right, so again, remember the game's in alpha, so stuff like that happens. All right, um, it's gonna be real interesting when I'm playing a FPS game, you know, when I'm walking around with my gun and I'm, and I'm trying to do a mission and there's a ladder. It's gonna be real interesting. Um, if, I, if I take a ladder, you'll never see it. You'll never see it. I'll edit it out. Like, you'll just see a jump cut, and then you'll be like, did he take a ladder? No. No. You'll have no evidence of it, at least. Um, so, uh, so uh, this is, again, so these are all, like, component bays and stuff. You can open these up. So this is a shield generator, right? So I don't know if it'll actually be in there. It is. All right. Very cool. So, like, let's say, right, um, let's say you get shot at a lot, and your ship's shield generator is completely offline right you can come in here if, as an engineer take this bad boy out toss it over there then um i don't know where the cargo area is but you can go to the cargo area um these are fuel tanks so this is this is like a little maintenance area. this is nothing you can do down here but like let's say you had another one you can come in pop another one in this bad boy and then boom your shields are back right and i think that is really freaking cool like there's not a whole lot of other games where you can lose your shields and then if somebody's you know standing right here maybe they have like you know one sitting here and one sitting here while you're fighting and like the shield goes down and then boom you take this one out put the other one in and then now this person is like i just knocked your shields out like what happened you shouldn't have shields anymore. And it's like, yeah, I still got shields because yeah, you broke this one and now this is a new one. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, um, and, I, and one of the things I do like about the character, it is very well organized. Like most ships are not this well organized. If you go through the rest of my videos, you'll see this is definitely one of the, um, the, best, the best ships as far as when it comes to the way it's organized. Oh, this whole thing glitches. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me take that ladder. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We are going to jump. We are going to jump. As soon as we press this button. Ah! It really wants me to take that ladder. Take ladders. What don't you understand? Ha! You know what? Watch this. This is how much we don't take matter. Take take ladders. We're gonna we're gonna do something we've never done in a video before. We're gonna show you. How we got into the ship. We're just we're showing you that we do not do ladders all right this is what we'd rather do we'd rather load back into the game than take a ladder 
Bam! Ladder skipped. Did you see it? Did you see it? Let it be known, we don't take ladders even when we glitch. All right? So, well, might as well show you this area. <laughs> um, so, these are the three chairs where you normally would sit. So, we'll sit in this one just so you can see the difference in the view. Um, so, as you can see, this is still a pretty cool view, but I'm not a big fan of, of the uh, these things here. Um, I, I I get why they're there. You know, it's pretty cool. The the look of it's pretty cool. But I'd rather be up there in the um, the you know commanders area or the captain's area than be down here. It just makes a lot more sense to me um, to have the best view if you're you know going to be shooting and, and going around and going crazy and stuff. Um, but obviously you got more you know MFDs and stuff here, so. Um, it, maybe it is better to be here. I don't know. It just I I haven't fought in this thing, and again, I don't own one, so um, it just seems to me like I'd rather be up there. Um, but yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Um, so this ship, um, I think it's I think it's anywhere from three to five crew. Um, but you want this thing fully crewed this thing is awesome and to me it's one of the best ships you can have when it's fully crewed oh man this thing is really awesome um and it has some really big computers and stuff in here for to do all the the jump point um data and everything um i'm really upset that the elevators are broken though it's kind of weird i mean there's really only the two floors i think um so look, we'll call this and yeah, see, you only have the, uh, you have the upper bridge, lower bridge. I think there's really only two floors. Um, uh, but here's your captain's quarters. Um, really nice in here. Um, I really hope these screens are gonna be functional and they have like a real use case. Cause look at that. Look at that. Look at the attention to detail. That's excellent. That's excellent. I just hope they have real use cases right like you got this little window that's pretty cool too but i really want to be able to use everything in my ship like i like there's all these books and stuff which i get some stuff is just like okay you got to have some stuff that's just like there but i want to choose these books like i want to know i want to be able to pick them up and like replace them with other books and you know maybe i don't want books up there i want like a bunch of teddy bears see like there's a teddy bear there it's probably a camera in there somebody's spying on me but yeah, this is captain's quarters. He's got a little bed here. See another teddy bear. I'm not, I'm suspicious of teddy bears. I don't I don't trust them. Uh, creeps. Like anyway, um, yeah. So you got a shower. I don't know why they split this up. I feel like this could have been like a storage locker. This could have just all been one thing. Cause uh, in a lot of ships, the toilet like is in like a compartment under here, and then it goes in to the wall and comes out when you need it um, so I feel like this is a little bit of a wasted space here um, but they do what's called gold passes on some of this stuff which means they go through everything that they built and they see if there's little things that they can make better um, and I think they'll end up doing that on this one too um, let's see if this opens so these are these are where you would store like your armor and stuff and then this is where you store all your gear I don't see this isn't a military ship so you might not see like an armory type thing but you could you could put your stuff in here um but yeah it's captain's quarters um i was talking about something um oh yeah gold pass so gold pass is where, where they go through and they take a ship that they've already completed like this ship the, the carrick and they make sure that it's like up to the best standards they see if they missed anything you know um important um and then they fix it they go through and fix it they, they take heed of all the things that people said need to be fixed in the ship you know and as i think that's pretty cool um, CIG really cares about, you know, what, what the community has to say. And I think they'll care even more the closer they get to release because it's like, we're not all just 
trying to get this game you know where, like when you're in the, the 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 depth of the development i think it's harder to like see what what the fans want and and do it all but once you're close to like hey we're about to release this thing i think you have more time to really pay attention to what you know the fans are saying um anyway very cool like this table is really really cool um this is your crew area with a bunch of storage lockers looks like one two three four crew five i see five yeah there's no bed over here so yeah five crew i think that's what i said yeah five people um five crew one captain so six people total um i think that's pretty cool they got their own showers in here um yeah uh, i don't see toilets they better have their own toilets um i do not see toilets ah there they are okay so i've been in shit before that did not have toilets um for the crew they just had the captain's toilet and i thought that was so weird because like are you going to go into the captain's quarters every time you need to use the bathroom uh, I think it was the, uh, what was it? It was the Aegis Reclaimer that, that was like that, which is the salvage ship. All right, let's go into the mess. It's the mess hall, the place where you cook your foods and all of that stuff, chill and eat. Um, I said in another video, I really hope they make it to where if you sit down, if you cook a meal, like legitimately get good at cooking and sit down and eat, that it gives you a buff so because like i don't want anything that i do in the game to not matter to the game like yes you can sit down and eat with your friends that's cool that's fun but i wanted to be like give us a reason to do it too like give us a reason to really like sit down and eat with our friends so yeah we can talk crap and stuff but while we're doing it we're doing something that's really cool for the game um, so CIG, if you are watching this, I know I'm a brand new YouTuber, but like if you're watching this, give us a reason to eat, give us a reason to sit down, give us a reason like to, to do all those things besides like just the social part of it. Like, I think it would be really cool. Um, we're not using elevators. I'm, a, I'm assuming my, I don't use, I don't use ladders thing is going to turn into a, I don't use elevators either because they're glitchy right um oh so this is a huge part of this ship we're not going to go in there yet though we're going to go down these hallways um just so you can see um what's back here all right so this is the elevator that um we were going to take up earlier but it glitched um and there's nothing really else in these hallways um just wanted to show you those because uh, i think the last thing i want to show you is this so this is one of the coolest freaking things. So this sterilizes you, um, I think, and also keeps you from being able to vent the ship. Um, but I think this is gonna be like a little sterilization area so that you don't you know, contaminate when you go in here. But this is really cool. So this is like, I think it has two tier two beds. So they're the, the medical gameplay. Um, or no, this is, no, it has one tier two bed. So this is the tier two bed. These are the recovery stations, I think, or maybe they're two tier three, I'm not sure. But either way, I think this is the like legit surgery, you know, thing. Um, I don't know if we can use it. We can, look at that. So um, this is cool. So I can change my reset location, right? To, cause when you die and you, when you die and you come back into the game, you will come back into a medical bed, right? Now, if you are in a ship that has a medical bed, you can come back to that ship. Now, as long as that ship is not destroyed, right? So um, if you come back and your ship is destroyed, then it'll just take you to the nearest planet or it'll take you to the last planet where you put your, your, your imprint. Um, but essentially, when you die and you load back up, right, you respawn, you are respawning at the medical bed. So it gives the medical beds a purpose. And on top of that, of course, the medical beds can heal you, right? That's their, their other um, feature. Um, so let's see if we can um, lie down 
and heal ourselves up. All right. Um, this is pretty cool. So I have 99%. So you see how it's green and it's going up. That's showing you that I'm actually regenerating up to 100%. And then when I reach 100%, I'm good. I didn't even have to do anything. I just laid down. So there's certain things like if you're hungry, dehydrated, st certain stuff. If you lay down in a medical bed, it'll just take care of that for you. So you'll see that a lot of people are like, I'm not into food or anything. I don't want to do any of that stuff. So they'll just come and lay in a medical bed. Um, and then, of course, if you need more unique medical care, you can come in here. You can go to your status treatment medication right so like certain these will do certain things and they haven't explained really uh i don't think all of the things that they can do but i think they'll all like do certain things based on what's wrong with your body um and then you can have it'll tell you like what you need um to treat and it'll tell you, you know, of course your condition of your body um so pretty cool stuff all right let's get out of here Um, so I should, um, I don't really have a huge tutorial video, but I'll show you something, um, about what, you know, movement around in this game is. So this is, this is your contextual menu. Um, it kind of just tells you this is what you press in order to do something. As long as you follow that, you'll be all right. You know, WASD for movement, mouse for looking. Um, but yeah, like I'm not going to throw a grenade. I don't even think I'm allowed to throw a grenade in this mode anyway. But um, yeah, it just helps you um, with contextual clues, how to get around, walk around and stuff. I do wish these doors auto open, but I understand why they don't because this is like, you know, an area where they might be doing surgery. You don't want that to auto open. And this is an area that you need to be um, free from contaminants. So I got it. Um, but yep. Yeah. That's pretty much it for the Anvil Carrick. It's an amazing ship. If this is the only ship you ever have in the game, I think you would have an excellent time. Um, this is, again, one of the most well-built ships. It's one of the, 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 the ships that has um, some decent weapons. It has a, a great role. It's a good-looking ship. Um, it's got a lot of amenities. Um, it's it's just a great overall ship, and anybody who gets this ship, I think, would be um, very proud. Now, you know, I don't really no normally do endorsements in these videos. Is I'm not trying to get you to buy anything. I'm just really just telling you that this is a great ship, and that's uh, uh, what I think you should expect from anybody who does these types of videos. Um, but that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.